as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around the waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 16 wins, five losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Lauren Murphy. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 23 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Mateus Tapka Andrade. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension and the buzz is powerful as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup in response to what we might see. This is a big time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Oh, she lands the punch there, really using her reach advantage in this one thus far. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Able to check the high kick. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Man, she's got the counter game going tonight as she lands the punch there. It can be easier to be a counter striker when you have the edge and reach. In this matchup, she most certainly does. Powerful leg kick land. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. That is a nice jab by her there as your boy Rosendo Sanchez. The shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, the right hand is there for her. That shot is blocked by Andrade. Right hand punch from the clinch. Great tempo to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy in a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow state. The hands are flowing, the head movement's going. She's doing a fantastic job. You love that flow state. I love it. Nice punch land. And they separate. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. She missed with that jab. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Murphy. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, a nice job by her. Great timing on that double leg. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. <laughs> nice leg kick land. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. Twenty seconds to go. Big leg kick land. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth. And boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, round two. 
Leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Andrade. That's a really strong leg kick there by Murphy. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Just unable to quite find that range. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. And they separate. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches on the head. Murphy's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Oh, pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Visibly limping here. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Way to hide that leg kick. She blocked the punch. Just missed. the finish. Back to the feet. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here. Oh! Wow! You can't ever know what you're going to That is it. That was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. Well, she had it all going here tonight as she gets the victory by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Lauren Murphy. Well, she is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame her after, after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight coming in played out that way on fight. Sometimes you can say a lot of things and you're not sure it's actually gonna happen. Tonight, everything...